Good morning, it is Friday the 29th of June 2018 and welcome to the local news of today. Outgoing Chinese ambassador decorated, renovated bikers unit building opened and there should be more attention for the commemoration of abolishment of slavery and the national day of mourning held yesterday for the third time. Ambassador Shang Xingxiong of China is decorated for his services in recent years. This came at the request of the Surinamese government. The ambassador has been named bearer of the large ribbon in the honor of the palm. The ambassador speaks of a fruitful period and also mentioned the realized plans resulting from the cooperation between Suriname and China. He also expressed his blessing on the services still to be executed. Despite being a ceremony for the departing ambassador, President Bautista was also surprised with a memento. He thanked Ambassador Sang Xingxiong for his services to Suriname. We are parting in a positive atmosphere, a positive atmosphere of friendship and respect, and we wish you success in your future endeavors. On behalf of the government of the Republic of Suriname and the Surinamese people, on behalf of myself, of uh, the First Lady and my family, I want to express my gratitude to you for the valuable contribution, your friendship, professionalism, and personal dedication towards the development of my country and our people. It is therefore another, another for me to bestow you, um, you ambassador with this distinct, distinct medal of honor. Ambassador, that is, a, that is a Chinese proverb which goes as follows. If you do not experience anything, it is impossible to gain knowledge. I hope that Suriname stays in your heart and that you may visit again as part of your happy retirement. Mr. Ambassador, I salute you. Suriname salutes you. Suriname and the people of Suriname salute you and your family. And I thank you for everything you've done for both our countries. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. The leadership of the police force Suriname has reopened the renovated building of the bikers unit. The building was renovated on the initiative of the police association. Although it is a job of the employer, the union has taken the initiative to renovate the building, says union spokesman Rivelino Eik. Acting Chief of Police Roberto Prada, who was also present at the commissioning of the building, says that this move is a good sign for the cooperation between the Surinamese Police Association and the leadership of the police force. It looks like there is a conspiracy in Suriname against people of Afro-Surinamese descent, so says Arman Sunder, chairman of the National Reparation Commission based on a study that has been carried out. Sunder also said that it is 145 years of emancipation instead of 155. According to him, Suriname is the only country that commemorates the abolishment of slavery. Attention should be focused on the struggle of the ancestors of Afro-Surinamese, according to Sunder. The position of Afro-Surinamese on the social level of society is not that great. This group needs more guidance. Young people should also be made aware of studies and training that offer enough opportunities on the job market, adds the chairman of the National Reparation Commission, Suriname. And yesterday, the National Day of Mourning was held for the third time. It was a, this is an initiative by the government, the Committee on Victims and Relatives of Political Violence, 
therefore held a special commemoration. Humphrey Yeru, chairman of the committee, says that in connection with this day, all flags of government offices was hosted half-mast. Yesterday, rats were laid at various monuments as commemoration of the victims of political violence. There was a walk along the path of reconciliation. Rats have also been laid at a monument of fallen soldiers. Minister Ronnie Benshop of Defense and Stanley Fernand, chairman of the Association of Surinamese Veterans and Former Soldiers, both paid their respects to the soldiers who were killed during the war in the interior. Today, a national mourning ceremony is held in the native village of Redidoti. President Bautersa is expected as a guest of honor. And that will be all for the local news for today. As for the World Cup in Russia, today is a rest day. There are no messages, but tomorrow you can tune in on channel 8.2 and also channel 8.1 for your matches in the knockout phase. Bye-bye.